and welcome to Pocket Paintings, the pint-sized paintings anybody can do. The colors you'll need will be listed on the bottom of the screen. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to draw a lovely bumblebee. To begin, you just need to do a bean shape on your canvas. Very easy little blob to do. You can make it any way that you want, fat or skinny or oblong, however you like. Go ahead and begin filling in your black stripes. Again, any way that you want. We're going to fill in black first so that we don't have to go over the yellow and the yellow will be more prominent. So fill in one stripe and then go fill in the other. And these stripes can be kind of any way that you want. You can make them go small to large or skinny. Bees are very organic, so it's very forgiving. Then you want to go in with your yellow and fill in these stripes here. Again, we're doing yellow after the black. That way we don't get anything too muddied up. But if you do, don't worry about it because we we're going to go over it later. And bees aren't meant to be perfect with their color. So fill in the yellow as much as you'd like. You can get it a little thicker so that it's a little bit brighter. And then just blend it in with your black. Once you have your initial B in and your black and yellow is how you like it, then um, we will continue on with the B and give him some more characteristics. So bees have antennas, so the thing we're going to give him first is the antenna. We're going to go ahead and just plop on some little antennas. These don't have to be perfect either. Just simply get them on there. You can space them out however you'd like. You can make them a little more crooked. You can make them a little bit more straight. Give him some arms as well. Again, small little arms don't have to be perfect. Put them near the middle of his body. And then of course his legs down at the bottom. Nothing particularly perfect. We're just getting a reminiscent B shape. He's looking good so far. Of course the bee would not be much without his flower. So let's go ahead and give him a flower. We're going to start with the green, put the little stem on. Just give it a little stem, a little dot. And then take your palette knife, any color you want, I chose blue, and just start streaking into the flower. Because flowers are organic as well. This will make it really nice, give it some texture. If you're not comfortable with a palette knife, you can certainly use a paintbrush or you can even use pens if you like. This gives a little bit more texture, very easy to do. Once you have his flower or def rough definition of his flower, again, we'll go over this later. Let's go ahead and give him an eye. He's got to see his lovely flower. And he is, of course, missing his wings, so let's go ahead and give him some wings. I'm taking the palette knife again and putting in some texture for the wings. Now, if you want him to stand out a little more, you could certainly put a sunrise or sunset on the background, put in some pinks and some oranges, and then he would, of course, have a great contrast. Um, just another step you can take to do the background if you'd like. Give his wings some details. Um, this is as organic as the legs. And for this, I'm going to give it just a little bit outline since I chose not to do a background. That way he stands out a little bit more. It's flying in place. And then go back to your flower. Let's go ahead and add some more color. I'm going to add some purples, just give it a good little blend. And I'm going to also add a little bit of texture with that as well, blend in that 
purple in texture. His wings need a little bit more texture as well, so let's go ahead and add that. Looking good. And again, you can do this however you'd like. If you feel his texture is good, then you don't need to add anything. If you want to add more, go right ahead. So now that he has that, let's make sure he just is proportioned. And we're going to also increase the garden a bit. So let's make sure we give him just a little bit more garden room. Add some green dots just on the page. You can make this bigger or smaller as you want. Gardenscape is behind him. Go ahead and just add some greens, some dark darks, and some lights, and add some pink dots for flowers. And then now that he's dried just a little bit, let's go ahead and fill in the body a little bit more. Let's make him bright and excited and fill in those spaces that we think need filling here. If you feel like your bee is good at this point, great. You don't need to do anymore. I'm going to fill in the garden a little bit more, give him plenty. I'm also going to fill out some definition on places that I need it over here on the garden, add a little bit more greens. And then also, maybe here, darkers, just give it some real different colors, add it to the flower a little bit, blend it in. He's looking really good. Let's just touch up a couple little places, give his eye a little bit more definition. Add on to the flower, make it protrude out just a little bit more, really fill in that corner there. And his wings looking just a little bit off, so let's go ahead and um, add a little bit to that. Okay, he's looking really good. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you join us again in the future.